What is going on guys, welcome to Need for Speed Most Wanted Multiplayer and today in this episode I'm currently driving the BMW M3, I do switch around the car a lot during this now I know I said you know, to you to suggest cars in the comments below and I thought, you know what, it's not really going to work for Need for Speed I'm really specific with how I want my car to handle and such um, and I will probably end up losing events and stuff and you know I'd rather drive one car constantly and win than drive multiple cars and lose I, I don't know but I will still you know keep an eye on your suggestions and such because you know I do still listen I do switch cars between events now I've started to switch so basically what I do I change car uh, depending on what the event needs so if it needs more speed I'll switch to a faster car whatever that sort of thing but I will still listen to your suggestions, so if it's a race where I need to use a muscle car for example and you suggested a muscle car, I will use probably that muscle car unless I can think of anything, be be uh, anything better in that situation for me to use. So anywho, let's get on with it. So to start things off we have a pretty simple speed test. Uh, basically what we need to do is run through a speed camera at the top speed. Obviously these guys reversing here had no idea what they, we were going to have to do that and decided to reverse into me to try and stop me at the same time. And who was it? It was a frigging idiot using a Bugatti Veyron. Anywho, I wanted to switch to the Hennessy Venom during that. I didn't really try on the first attempt. Switch to the Hennessy Venom and then I go, oh, I was about to turn off and got hit by a guy, but that was fine. That was kind of my fault. I should have been looking where I was going. But that time, my fault again. <laughs> I need to. I really need driving lessons. Anyway, this actually gave me an advantage because I had Speed Hunter, meaning I could literally boost and boost and boost and boost all the way past Speed Trap to get a, a very nice speed there, which wasn't the best, but it was still pretty damn good. Now, unfortunately, as an outcome due to that crash right there, I was eliminated by that one guy. So this made me very cross, and then I decided to go on a rampage and attack many people. Well, attempt to anyway, because it didn't go too well. And that wasn't just for a show. I was actually deciding, I was gonna go after him now. I'll not, I'll carry on and go after the guy who actually caused me to get wiped out and failed because he's in a big Hattie Veyron and it weighs more than my Hennessy Venom. But anywho, I didn't care. The time was almost up. I was pretty much, you know, in the way trying to block as many people as I could because I don't want anyone to overtake me or this other guy, obviously, so I can at least secure second place. And thankfully, that was a job well done at securing second place. Obviously, I didn't really get first, so it wasn't that well done, but it wasn't too bad. So I didn't do too amazing in the last event. I could have done a lot better, you know, if I had switched to the Hennessy Venom a lot earlier. And I mean, I should pretty much do it all the time when it comes to a speed test. What you've missed on this part, I actually switched between three different cars. One by accident, two not by accident, which was the M3 and the SLS. But what I did decide to go with is the Hennessy Venom due to its raw speed and this next thing being a speed test. Y you get the idea? Speed, speed test. So my friend Dale was hiding in a rock here. Um, I didn't know you could drive through it, so I drove behind it just to hide from people. Because, you know, when you're in a better car than someone, or you're better than someone, most of the time they'll try and attack you. So, why not hide behind a rock? There you go, I should patent that idea and be like, yo, you gotta pay me if you're hiding behind a rock to avoid other people that are jealous of you. Obviously, I wasn't clear enough when I stated I was going to patent the idea. Now, we've been informed that we need to begin, and my only guess was that it was the jump, because it was kind of telling us to meet up there, so I did a quite large jump in the Hennessy Venom and secured first place straight instantly, crazily fast right there, and I was thought, you know what, that's not enough. I'm just going to crash into a wall. No, I didn't actually mean to do that. But anywho... That was not enough. That was not enough for me. What I did is switch to Jump Nos. Now, Jump Nos, if you haven't um, seen me use it or anyone else use it before, basically what it is, it's part of the DLC pack and it makes you extend your jump. So there you go. A failed usage of Jump Pro. 
Obviously, it doesn't have to be pro, but the pro version makes gas come out your car. It's cool. So, keeping my speed and going round the roundabout at about 70, 80 miles an hour, and then boosting out, getting to 100 in less than a second, speeding as fast as I can to be knocked off course by some idiot not adjusting ca my car at the end like an idiot and hitting the side and going straight into the drink without a splash because the the game had already registered that I was in the drink kind of thing. But anyway, that wasn't the least of my worries. I was like, okay, here we go. We can try it one more time. If we're quick enough, we might be able to make it. Get knocked out by that guy. Obviously, he's annoyed with me, so he goes to attack me. Which then eliminates me, and like, I had a chance of doing it again in two seconds. Anyway, wasn't a major issue, and I was about to change my NOS before the event ended. But I didn't do too bad there, I don't think. Not too bad at all. If I didn't get wrecked and stuff. I, remove it from the game criterion. Thankfully the next event was right near where the last event was. Obviously if I wasn't such an idiot driver I would have made it a lot quicker than I did. But I am unfortunately. So this next event is a race. And as you guys know I'm... I'm just the best at races on this game. If any if any of you think you can beat me, then let me know. Contact me if you're on PSN, that is, and let's see how quick I can smoke you. Anyway, <laughs> I was going to use the Hennessy Venom for this event, but I thought, you know what? I'm not a horrible person. You know, I don't want to be a horrible person that you think, you know, hates you and wants to beat you in their better DLC cars, so I switched to the SLS. As you guys know, I absolutely love this SLS, and I've changed its colour since the last one. Uh, someone suggested that I use it in blue, but unfortunately the SLS does only only has lots of colours of grey and white. Criterion, once again, fix it! No, we had more, you know, more customization options in the older games, it's kinda weird. Just a bit. So now the race has begun, I'm going to pretty much speed ahead of everybody and start early, then kind of hold back a bit because I don't know what to do, and then tap a Veyron up its rear so it goes off course! Very, very uh, interesting beginning to the race. If, you, if you've if you got ninja eyes, you would have seen the red guy in the bottom there had actually started early and now to travel back. Very failed corner there, and then a guy actually corped him if you look on the map now. He is now stomped into a wall, so that worry was gone pretty darn quickly. I was actually scared because it sounded like a vape run. I could hear like a roar behind me switching between my ears like he was trying to overtake me. It seemed like it happened a lot slower than it actually did. Well, that's just how the brain works, I don't know, is it? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a scientist. So here I was changing the PowerShots to PowerShot Pro just to make it all that much better. You know, I love my PowerShot on the SLS, as you know. So then, I just want to say something quickly. A long time ago, I said that you, if you have the skill to do it, you should start in the SLS with the short gears. And once you've hit the top speed, switch to the long gears to get an extra, you know, extra speed boost. But obviously I can't do that because I don't have a connect and I'm not Asian. So those two things mean I can't do that. I'll do some practice but I'll try it, it's not going to work right now. So you can see the guys are actually catching up to me so the power shot gave me a quick boost and you can see why I actually switched to the boost there. Now as you can see I was actually switching mods again there. What I actually forgot to do, I actually um, tried something new earlier. Where I wanted to get it so the SLS was very heavy, so I didn't have all the idiots taking me down at the beginning of the events. And obviously, once again, you could start the race in the heavy stuff, and then, you know, once you've started going, go to the light stuff. But that's that's too much hassle. It's it's not worth it. We just need to start, you know, asking Criterion, yo, Criterion, can, can you make the cars a little bit stronger? Just a bit, you know, disable the instant takedown and all that other absolute rubbish that nobody ever wants in the Need for Speed game and will be sorted. So, pretty, pretty clean race there. You know, if I would have crashed, it probably would have been over for me if it crashed towards the beginning of the event, but thankfully, I didn't. Now it's time to go take people down. So, as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm not the greatest at taking people down because I just missed everyone in the first couple of seconds. Not great, but uh, it doesn't matter, it's only a couple of more points that I could have got from being so beast at this game, I mean, 
After playing the waiting game, waiting for the newbie races to finally finish, you can see that I pretty much owned that event there. I mean, pff, no one else came close, but a couple of crashes and that would have changed completely. I, had, I could have probably beaten that a lot better if I actually had light and aero and everything else on at the beginning of the race, but I didn't. I thought, you know what, I'm going to put a bulky body on, and then I forgot about it, and then I found out, and then I realised why the car felt sluggish, slow, and went slower than frigging ever. There's finally something I can actually praise Criterion about, and that's actually having a black new place road where the DLC map is. I think that's pretty cool. So, most of the roads in Need for Speed Most Wanted, the Criterion one, are kind of a grey, old feel to them. They're, they're, it's like they've been there for quite a while. Whereas this road looks like it's just been laid and everything is pretty much perfect. Even to the part as we get further on here, you'll see that there's still a construction site and, you know, they're still actually working on parts of it, not literally, but it, it gives that feel that it's brand new and it's just been made, which is pretty darn cool. So we finally arrived at the meetup, well I did. There were still quite a few people to actually arrive, and I always hate that. The SLS seems to be poo when breaking off-road, but it's not really an off-road car, is it? So, what I always hate is when people try and attack you and such, so what I actually decided to do is hide into the tunnel into the tunnel. Hide in the tunnel to avoid people, which I think uh, was quite a wise option. So then I was just waiting for everyone else to arrive, for me to then zoom out and then when the event starts and blitz everybody at this next event. A couple of minutes later, everybody else, well not everybody else, a couple more people arrived until the last people finally arrived. That's my friend on the right again, if you didn't realize. And then you see ground effects, and in the top of my head, it was saying, you know what, this is a drift event, get started. So I zoomed out as soon as it said go and began drifting slightly. Thankfully, it was one where you carry your points on and on and on, whatever. So I didn't do too amazing at the beginning. You know, I started off pretty rubbish, not winning as such. So I'm currently in fourth place with the, a decent amount of points, and as you can see, someone actually stopped drifting there for a couple of seconds and lost it. I did the same, but I didn't lose place, I actually gained a place. So now I'm second place. And it feels weird commentating on cars just drifting around, but who cares? If you're into this stuff, it's, it's down to you, and we finally made the other person stop and the event just finished after that which is lucky for me because they probably would have all tried to take me down now that my name was at the top pretty simple event but pretty cool back into the tunnel to avoid every living being after being given the instructions to where the next event was i was actually first to the meetup thankfully i was actually trying to rush towards it before anybody else because i wanted a couple more points to make me seem even more <sighs> beast and ahead of everybody else basically because that guy in second place wasn't too far behind me I know if this he won this event he would have won basically now here we are people angry at me because I'm so beast and they're not and just waiting for more people to arrive the waiting game has begun once more a bit of pushing and shoving later we finally got everybody to the meetup thankfully, and obviously everyone wants to take you down again because that's what everybody wants to do at the start of an event. So, <laughs> stuttering a bit there, not sure what, whether to go full pace, how close everything was kind of thing. But this is a team race for me and my friend, probably the first time ever, are finally on a team. This is pretty cool. Thankfully I didn't go too fast along there, otherwise it would have been a bit of an issue if I hit the wall. I would have lost my first place, I reckon. I reckon I would. So this is a nice, easy race. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of it due to how you can easily go onto the grass. I don't really like that. It doesn't give you, there's no buildings in the way to tell you where to go and such. It's, it feels a lot like some open world with no buildings or anything. It just seems very simple. Like, y you could do it by literally driving in a straight line. If you know what I mean, let me know because some people would be very confused about what I just said. And that's fine, because so was I. <laughs> so, pretty simple race if you've got a car with a decent speed. Obviously, it doesn't need to be amazingly fast. It also needs to be able to turn well, and that's pretty much it. Simple, easy, piece of cake. I don't know what else you can ask for in a race. 
Except it being a little bit more difficult because easy is bad. Y you know what I mean. For easy races, this is easy easy. Except you might get lost, as I said, um, not knowing where to go once all the markers and such. Because there's no buildings to go around, nothing to guide you where the edges are and such. So at this point my brain was telling me to take some people down for a bit more speed points. Obviously you can see that went extremely, extremely well. After waiting for about a minute for people to actually finish the race, no, some of them didn't actually finish, I came first, once again giving me a very meaty score, and as you can see the gap again was quite big. I don't know why, it's either I'm a good driver or the SLS is a good car, and to me I'm thinking both. <laughs> So as you can see, a very, very, very good score at the end there. I won most of the events. Um, I wish I won all of them now. If I would have switched to the Hennessy Venom at the beginning, I would have won all the events. But 4 out of 5 is good for me. I'm happy with that amount of speed points. And it's going to be a very nice addition to my speed point collection. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any, any suggestions... I can't even speak. If you have any suggestions for... Uh, no, this specific mods, what you want me to use, or specific vehicles. If you have any suggestions at all, leave them in the comments, and I will be sure to see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace. Yo, uh -huh. Yes, sir. Turn everything up tomorrow. The drums, you know. The music. Uh huh.